to the final level of the Grease section of Team Raider 1, Team of Tsihoku. First, we'll want to swim all the way to the end of this tunnel and pull on the broomstick shaped lever just down here to lower the water level so we can finally come up with some air. These levers can only be pulled underwater, and the T shaped levers that we've seen in levels before can only be pulled above water. Once you pull this one, just be careful as you run through because there's a crocodile that might block your way. Just jump on top of here and it can't do you any harm. Then you can make your way up to the very top of the room. over here. If you can't do that diagonal jump you can climb over there instead and then do a straight jump. And then make sure you climb in this corner to avoid the darts that start shooting at you. To then do a standing jump over here. And then do a running jump onto this platform here. lever, raise the water level, and then you can collect the small medipack on the ground just below the block that was originally concealing it, and then climb on top of the block. After you follow the corridor round, you'll then find another place where you can swim. Swim directly down the whole way and pull this lever first, otherwise you won't make it to the end of this long hallway without running out of breath. But what this does is it activates a current, which will take you along. And then you can swim up, swim out of the water, get out of the way of the rat, Take care of the rat, and then pull this block backwards one space. You can then make your way up over here. Line yourself up to grab up here when you jump. If you miss it the first time, just hold jump and Lara will inch forward each jump and get closer. And then be careful here as Pierre will come out of this alcove on the right and start shooting at you. So climb up here and wait for him to come round the corner. If he wants to. him not to spawn. <laughs> there you go. Lead him up here. Let him run away. Did I deal enough damage? There you go. So now he's gone. Now be careful of the closing gates here. Just get quite close and then run through as they start to open. Take out the crocodile. And then stand on these three dark tiles in any order to open the first secret. then make your way up the slopes to pick up the large medipack and shotgun shells. A 
if you're struggling, just make sure that you're facing away from the first slope and jump backwards and then just hold jump the whole time and she'll make it up. Now you can pick up the items. And make your way back, once again being careful of the timed gate. Once you've done that, walk to the edge of this block and do a standing jump forward and you'll land safely here. And then you can jump over here to use the first save crystal of the level. If you angle yourself slightly to the left just as you're jumping here, then you can stop the axe from activating, but it's not an issue. Jump over here and walk carefully to collect the shotgun shells. And then jump back. Now don't walk to the edge, otherwise Lara will get hit by the axe. Instead, just stand about a tile away. And as the axe starts swinging to the left, make a running jump. Now we're back in the room that we were just in, but we're higher up. And we can safely drop down and shimmy across to the edge. Climb up when we get to the other side. <coughs> After pulling the lever, you'll raise the water level again so we can now safely drop down here and then use the water to climb onto this ledge. Take care of the rat. then follow this path all the way through to the next room. Now be careful here, as a lion will spawn. So if you stand on this block here, you can safely jump back into the water if the lion gets too close. If you want, you could jump up here instead. Either way works. But we're not going to use the save crystal on that block just yet. Instead we're going to come round and pull this well-hidden lever. And then we can come up to where the save crystal is. If you want you can use it now, but it's not necessary just yet. Instead we can do some damage to the gorillas from down here. As long as you do enough, you can then come up and fight them if you want, or you can keep shooting at them from there, whichever you feel more comfortable with. After taking out the gorillas, stand on this left tile here just to be extra safe, and jump and grab onto this ledge, because sometimes Lara won't grab onto this one because it's a little bit too high. And then climb up, pick up the large medipack and the golden key. Now walk to the edge and do a standing jump to make it over the spikes. And then you can come down here and use the save crystal. Now if you're playing on the PC, when you use the key here, sometimes the secret sound plays, but it doesn't count as a secret. And then just make a few running jumps 
over here. And then you can just do a standing jump from this last one. And then pick up the small medipack before you go through to the next room. Now pull this movable block out too, onto the first of the four pads. And then a gorilla will come out from the door just ahead and to the right of you. You can jump on the block for safety if you'd like, or you can just take it out from down here. There's only one, so you don't have to worry too much. Then go in the room it came out of. Pick up the magnum clips. And the shotgun shells. And then push this block over to this one, or you can pull it on because another gorilla will spawn behind you. So if you prefer to pull it just to get a bit of extra distance, that's fine. Make your way through to the, gr the gr room the gorilla came out of. And pick up the shotgun shells. And then come on top of the block. And jump up here. Now don't try to pick this bloody pack up too quickly. Otherwise you'll get hit by these spikes. So just wait until they start to open to run through. Pick up the first of the two rusty keys. And the large medi pack. And then push this block two spaces forward. And the door that's now to Lara's right is going to open and release four rats at once. So I'd recommend just hopping back and then doing a standing jump onto the block like this. And then taking the rats out from up here. Pick up the large medipack and leave the room. And then push the block onto the final pressure pad. <laughs> and be careful because when you drop down here, two boulders are going to come from either side, so don't pick up that small medipack just yet. Instead, do a running jump and climb up just to be safe. And then you can pick up the small medipack without worrying about being crushed by the both, both of the boulders. <laughs> You've now completed this room. And you can use both of the keys to exit. Now just past this door, there's a very conveniently placed save crystal on the console versions. Because there's a missable secret that we're now about to collect. So make your save here. Walk to the edge in the middle and face just about here. Then do a standing jump forward and hold jump. And then Lara will land over here. Now, 
do a series of standing jumps forward, left, forward, forward, right and forward. But make sure you don't press the direction until Lara has landed. Because if you press it before she's landed then she'll turn in mid-air and then she'll go askew and you won't land on the plates correctly. Just like this. And then you can pick up some Uzi clips and Magnum clips. And now we're nearly at the end of this level. You can now fall down here and quickly swim as fast as you can to the other side of this lake, avoiding the crocodile that chases after you. And then take out the crocodile. Now you can make your way through the rocky path. the edge and do a running jump onto this block and then climb up here and pull the lever which will open an underwater door that we need to open the main door to the tomb of Tehoken. Now make your way back through here will bring you back to this lake. Now before climbing up, swim back down and underneath the entrance to the tomb. Swim under this pointed rock here and then go through the door that we just opened. There's a save crystal to your left. And a lever for you to pull. So pull the lever to open the tomb, and then use this save crystal. Now, both of those centaur statues will come to life and become Atlantean centaurs. They have a lot of health, and they also do a lot of damage. But as long as you keep a distance from them, and jump left and right constantly, all of their projectile attacks will miss you. But when they blow up, when they die, they blow up, and they can actually hurt you in the explosion. So just be very careful. So what I recommend you do is you actually come over to this sandy bit here, just to give yourself plenty of room. And don't use the save crystal here just yet, because we'll use that for when the second centaur awakes. go. So now you can see it started shooting, but as long as you keep your distance and have space to jump left and right, the projectile should miss you every time. You can use a stronger gun if you'd like, but the pistols work very well here. As you can see, I did get hit by one of the projectiles, but it doesn't it doesn't matter that much. We've just saved as well. So, there's a huge difference here because on the PlayStation version and the Sega Saturn, when you go through these doors, this second centaur will awake. But for the PC players, that won't happen until you go through do what you need to do and then come back out. So we're going to go in and we're going to find Pierre. A little late for the prize giving, no? Still, it is the taking part which counts. 
after his little speech there. You can use the same tactic that we usually do, of staying behind him. And just keep shooting. And eventually, you will finally take out Pierre. You never have to worry about him again. Now that we've taken him out and collected his items, make sure you do that before you save. Because if you save and then don't collect his items beforehand, if you reload that save, his items will be gone and you won't be able to finish the level and you'll have to use the skip level cheat. Now when we come back through, this centaur is going to wake up. So I recommend that you run over here to get yourself some distance. And then avoid the shots. Lara is almost dead. I don't know how I'm still alive. <laughs> now we can use this save crystal. Just to prove to you that I'm uh, not cheating as well, I can jump from a height and uh, break Lara's neck. Because I'm sure she'd appreciate that because it does, it does look like I'm cheating right now and I'm using like a, a no-death cheat, but I can assure you that she's actually just on one HP. See? <laughs> so as I load this game once more, we can come through. Make your way up here. Run to the end and pick up these magnum clips. If you didn't pick the magnums up earlier as well, Pierre did drop them. Even if you did pick them up, you just get them a second time. But in your inventory, you still only have one. But it still counts towards the overall end of level pickups count. Pick up the magnums on the other side. Then pick up this large medipack. <coughs> Use the key that you picked up from Pierre to open the way to the tomb. Now you'll want to safely drop down as to not take damage. And finish the level. Here lies Tohokan, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis, who even after the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. He died without child, and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly, Tohokan. There is the level. 17 kills, 26 pickups, and both secrets. And I'll see you next time in the first level of Egypt. Thanks for watching.